Well, Andy, yeah, we've got pieces of debris raining out of the sky into the uh, Western Australian outback, uh, setting up the equipment needed to film Mad Max Thunderdome. Uh, actually, I do have an inside source on this because my cousin Alice is a space archaeologist and I have reliably been informed that saying my cousin Alice is a space archaeologist sounds like I've just made up an alternate universe version of myself. <laughs> who is more successful and exciting and fair. Uh, my cousin Alice, AKA Other Alice, is a space archeologist. She specializes in the mapping and tracking of space junk. And I asked her to explain this story to me. Uh, so fundamentally, scientists of space junk have been increasingly concerned that we're filling the sky with rubbish on decaying orbits around the globe, which makes it a increasingly dangerous for people shooting themselves up there that they might bump into something. And also inevitable that increasing amounts of space junk are gonna start falling out of the sky. I asked my cousin Alice what the implications of this are because I'm not an expert, but she didn't reply because she's too busy panicking about the implications of all this cascade of space junk that's about to splat us, I assume. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know what to think about this story because I'm not an expert and like nobody listens to the experts anymore, which I know uh, that nobody is listening to poor boffins with their decades of expertise reading graphs while Johnny Come TikTok is making millions of money misinterpreting to an audience of tepid teens and quivering capitalists. The point <laughs> is, I know that nobody's listening to experts because this is the first time you're hearing this story in a comedy <laughs> news show. Um, and if, even if it's not the first time you're hearing about the story, you probably read the headline and figured you understood the story enough and you didn't click through. And <laughs> if you did click through, you didn't fact check. And <laughs> even if you click through and fact checked, you didn't ask a space scientist unless you are a space scientist, in which case you're not a space scientist in this field. And if you are, hi, Cousin Alice. <laughs>